Hey, um, Merry Christmas for tomorrow, because here in the UK it's still Christmas Eve, but I know some parts of the world it could be Christmas already. Um, so, this, ooh, <laughs> this is a look at the new number ones coming out in March 2024. Can't believe we're already looking at that, but there we go. Um, so, I'm going to start, I'm just going to focus on Marvel, DC and Image, otherwise I'll be here all day and I am going to be doing an end of year video, it might be today or it could be later on in the week which will take quite a lot of time so okay so new number ones from Marvel, the big one for me is Ultimate X-Men number one, this is by Peach Momoko but the only thing that's putting me off getting these Marvel number ones is Marvel now it looks like basically like 85% of all Marvel comics are for a standard size comic 32 page comic with 20 story pages is $4.99 and when they bump up the cover the pages to 40 pages which would be about 26 page story they charge $5.99 and this one is $5.99 for number one it looks really nice but I don't know if I want to invest in that so it's written and drawn by Peach Momoko who is brilliant, she's fantastic and it says visionary creator Peach Momoko, Demon Days, Star Wars etc creates a new generation of X-Men for an old universe Hisako Ichiki is a teenage girl who just wants to live a normal life go to school, hang out with her friends, ignore the political strife brailing over after the events of Ultimate awesome Invasion but life has other plans for her in Japan urban legends have sprung to life and brought some unusual new powers with them um, meet Armor, Mary Storm, May Storm, sorry, and a group of new Ultimate X Men, the likes of which you've never seen before. So, like I said, it's five dollars ninety nine for the first issue. The artwork looks like it's going to be amazing, but I just don't know if I can invest in a comic that after the first issue, be four dollars ninety nine, when it will be just twenty story pages. At least with DC, even the ones like Superman, it's twenty four pages, and the majority of them are thirty pages or thirty two pages of story. So for $4.99 um, so that's the standout one for me there is another one coming out which is the spectacular Spider-Man Men uh, so that's focusing on Miles Morales and Peter Parker it's written by Greg Wiseman who did the I think he did some of the animation stories so I'm not familiar with him I don't like Marvel animation so <laughs> it means nothing to me um, but it's got good artists Humberto Ramos thing is though I don't trust Marvel now with the ongoing, they say it's an ongoing and it ends up being a 5 issue series or a 12 issue series so who knows. But again it's going to be $5.99 so if you are a Marvel fan if that's all you buy you're going to have to get a second job. <laughs> so $5.99, 40 pages, like I said it focuses on Marvel, um, on uh, Miles Morales and Peter Parker. But again why just get somebody who wrote for the animated series? I don't know. Why not just get somebody who's a comic writer already? You know. I, I, I do. I will. Go, I will say. I'm not. I guess I'm pressured. I just looked at it and I just thought the thought that came to me was everything's very beige with Marvel. Um, they don't have anything exciting. Don't take risks. Everything's very PG. Uh, for case in point, next one is Black Jackpot and Black Cat. Um, your standard cheesecake covers um, it's by Celeste Bronfham, never heard of her um, and Amelia Lay, so uh, artists never heard of them, again Marvel are just getting people who who are they? <laughs> um, the one thing I will say I am a DC fan but at the same time DC they're hitting out of the park at the with the creative teams and the creative teams stay and they extend miniseries into ongoing so they're doing something good um, but it looks like this one will be $3.99 um, after the first issue, it's four issues four issues um, and it's $4.99 for the first issue so that normally means when it's a, it listed as a 40 page one it will end up being $3.99 for each consecutive issue obviously because obviously they're not A-list characters which really does piss me off is that Marvel if it's a big name, they'll just whack another few dollars on them. They, don't, they shouldn't do it. It should be the river. The 
because they they don't need to. They're not going to make a loss because it's going. They're just going to make profit on profit on profit. They're just fleecing people. Because uh, one comic I was interested in trying, but the price point again puts me off. Is Ghost Rider relaunching again, but by the same t- new new Ghost Rider, but same writer Benjamin Percy, artist Danny Kim. Not familiar with him. Some okay covers. There's a. There you go. I think that's by. Don't, it looks like a Liam Sharp on that. Greg Capullo cover. Again, they've got Greg Capullo Marvel, but they're just using it for covers. Why? <laughs> go back to DC. Do some Batman. Do Justice League. <sighs> Waste of a talent. Again, another bugbear. It annoys me how comics these days, especially the big two, especially Marvel, they focus on just having really fantastic covers, loads of of variant covers. So the interior pages suffer because just putting all the money into the covers. No, it's not how you do it, but again, $5.99 for number one of Ghost Rider. New Spirit of Vengeance, but it's priced out of my ballpark. If you can afford it, go and get it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Another Miss Marvel miniseries. Why don't they just make Miss Marvel an ongoing again? This is crazy. She's just had a mini and she's got another one, four issues. This one's called Mutant Menace. Again, co-written by Miss Marvel herself, Iman Villani. Um, Art by Scott Godwelski, never heard of him. This is just a regular size comic, but it's $4.99. So bear that in mind, so it'll be 20 pages, $4.99. And there's another new comic, Black Widow and Hawkeye, because of course, Black Widow's now Venom. <laughs> I didn't realise I sighed then, but I guess that speaks volumes. Four issues. Stephanie Phillips, she's a solid writer. She's a good writer. I do feel a bit sad that she's on Marvel now and not DC. I'm not going to lie. Um, Prior Love Vill- Villanelli, never heard of them. Um, but yeah, again, it's only four issues. First issue's got to be $4.99. I mean, again, again that'll be $3.99 after that because they're not the A-list characters. So there we go. Then there's a What If miniseries, five issue. Oh no, we've done that one. That's an issue two, so ignore me on that one. Then there is a. Oh my god. Okay. First, I won't go on to that. I'll just. So, again, another couple low cover, Web of Spider Man. It's a one shot by the looks of it. Yeah, it's got. All, it's basically what they did with Timeless, where they're having like little short stories kind of giving snippets what's going to come in a year. Cash cow, basically. So, different writers. Zeb Wells. <laughs> Cody Ziegler, good writer. Steve Fox. What I've read of him, he's good. Alex Segarra, not familiar with. And Greg Wiseman, again, not familiar with. New standard Spider-Man artist. John Robinson Jr. Ed McGuinness. And, oh, Greg Land. I fucking hate Greg Land. Tracer. Not an artist, Tracer. And he's doing a variant cover. Why, Marvel? Why do you keep giving Greg Land work? Yeah, so it just says 2024 is primed to be one of the biggest years in spider history. You say that every year. And you've only got, you've only seen the tip of the iceberg. It's a one shot, 56 pages. Are you ready? $7.99. I think so far we've had about four or $5.99 comics, and now there's a $7.99 one shot. If you're Spider Man completist, yeah. Uh, spider Punk, oh no, we did that last week, but. Sad news is Spider Punk four issue series is sticking up four dollars ninety nine, so it will be continuing to be an expensive comic. There's a new Symbiote Spider Man, but this is twenty nine ninety nine one. Um, is that Cienk? Is that Cienkwick's cover? Let me have a look. No, it just looks a bit like it. Um, again, they're giving Greg Land more art covers to do. Five issue series. It's written by Peter Davis, so it's nice that they're giving him the character back. Well, it's not the character, it's the symbiote Spider Man, this one. Um, but five issues. Again, why don't they take a risk and make it ongoing? $4.99, but 40 pages, so 26, 27 page story. So that'll be $3.99 afterwards. So, yeah, so yeah, set in the 29 uni- 2099 universe. So it's their version of the Symbiote Spider Man. And 
don't think there's much else actually to be honest X-Men is still going for all the 100,000 miniseries tying into the um, fall of Krakoa and I think what happened again when they relaunched they'll all be $4.99 comics because a lot of these are still showing up for $4.99 there's a new this I think is ridiculous but here we go Weapon X-Men so new ongoing allegedly series is it ongoing some okay covers now only four issues Christos Gage he's an okay writer Ildre Sinar I think he well I've seen him he's quite a good artist but $5.99 again for the first issue But I'm so tired of multiverses and this is all the multiverse Wolverines meeting up and forming a group. My mum used to say, if you've nothing good to say, don't say anything at all, so. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I'm trying so hard to not be judgmental on Marvel at the moment, but I'm just gonna smile. Okay, on to the next one. X-Men Forever. Nice Mark Brooks cover. Phoenix again. Dying again. Always dies, always resurrects. <laughs> there we go. Um, this is four issues. Kieran Gillen writing it. So again, another one of the many, many miniseries tying up the loose ends because X-Men's all going to be relaunched in July. Um, $4.99, 32 pages. So that looks like it's going to be the new price point for X-Men titles which is a shame then of course there's a cartoon coming out so they've got to tie it into that so X-Men 97 that is going to be by Steve Fox writing who seems to be becoming one of Marvel's go-to writers now art by Salva Espen covers by Tugnook shame he can't do the interior artwork I've no idea who Salva Espen is $4.99 but it's 40 pages so again that'll be 27 to 28 pages and then be $3.99 afterwards but it's only four issues again and do 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 ba -ba -ba -ba. I think that could be it Oh, no, there's another thing here. This is that other new thing that they're doing, again, just to get your money. <laughs> um, another one of these giant size issues. It's a giant size spider Gwen. There's the cover. And that is by Melissa Flores, not familiar. Alba Glez, not familiar. Brian Hitch did the art, the cover. Doesn't look like Brian Hitch, actually. Um, so, Fucking hell, sorry, pardon my French, but $6.99 for 48 pages. Again, it'll only be about 30 pages of story. And it's... It's not even original stuff. It's got one story, new story, and the other is a reprint of Spider-Gwen 13 from 2015. $6.99. 48 pages. <laughs> People still buy. The only way Marvel stop doing it is if people stop buying, but people will keep buying. They won't question it, they just keep on shelling out the money. I've stopped, so I've stopped every Marvel one. Like I said, the only things I might be tempted with in the future are the Ultimate Lion, see what they're like, because the the, you don't need to get anything else. And maybe in July when the X-Men relaunch, if, if the rumours are true and one of my favourite writers comes on, and why well, can't Amanda Connor? <laughs> Was it Amanda Connor? No. No, it's not Amanda Connor. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. So I've still got fatigue, so I blank on names. Oh, this Gail Simone. There we go. Don't know why it looks at like my bookcase, but Gail Simone. <laughs> She's coming. If she comes on, I'll get it. But the rest now, it looks like it's just same old, same old ongoing stuff. Oh yeah, I did want to point this out. If you're a fan of Miles Morales, again, tighten your belt buckles. So, it's crazy. It's an issue 18. It's Miles Morales, Spider-Man. 
Curtis Ziggler writing, about six different artists on it, and it is 76 pages, $8.99. <laughs> Seriously, if you're into the Spider Universe, get another mortgage. <laughs> so there we go. I'd love to be getting Daredevil, I'd love to be getting Spider-Man, I'd love to get loads of other titles from Marvel. But the creative teams are very mid. The art, artists don't stay on doing runs, they just do an issue here and there. I just don't trust Marvel now. So I have, like I said, the only time we'd we'll be tempted is if the um, the Ultimates and X-Men, Ultimate Universe and X-Men. So... I think that is it. There's a facsimile of Amazing Spider-Man 254 by Tom Falco. Even the facsimile is the price at $4.99. Marvel. Marvel. No. Fine if it's like a double-sized issue, but it's just a standard one. Reprints my least favourite comic in the whole wide world. <laughs> Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number three. I hated Secret Wars. Even when it came out and I was the right, the like, target age, right, I hated it because... I knew what it was, it was just a cash cow to get, a, just for a toy range, and it, it's just naff, badly written, badly drawn. Oh, yeah, Mike Zek did the artwork for this one, but no, I, I hate that comic with a vengeance. My least favourite comic out of any comic, I think, even more so than um, Power Girl, the latest Power Girl, which I despise. Reprinting Wolverine number one, again. Four dollars ninety nine should be three dollars ninety nine. Marvel, stop it! Naughty, naughty, naughty. Um, but I think that could be it. Um, uh, do do do. Yeah, I, I'm. Just, you don't. I just. There's nothing to get a buzz. Even if I got a buzz by it about a title from Marvel, I then look at the price points and that kills whatever buzz I have. Um, you know, it's the, I'm not surprised because I mean they are basically Disney under a different name and Disney now have hiked up the prices of Disney Plus. In the UK it's £10.99, so I think that'd be about $13. Just for a monthly pass. And that's what I've done with the comics. They, they don't care. They just think, oh, we'll whack another few dollars on because people buy it still. But I know a lot of people who are stopping Marvel. People who, you know, diehard comic fans who are just stopping them. Nothing's worth... We can't, it's the, with the economy, especially how it is across the world, globally, it makes no sense. It's just greed. Like I said, I've stopped Hulk. I've stopped Captain Marvel. These were like... And um, Blade. These were three of them which I quite enjoyed, but... Lack of consistency in paper quality, lack of consistency in artists. Um, yeah, it's just, don't, I just don't trust Marvel at the moment. I hate to be a negative Nancy every time. And I feel I'm getting more and more negative with it. But they're doing nothing to install faith back in them. There's a, this is crazy. There's a What If series now about, about aliens. I don't know if it's a one shot or ongoing because Marvel doesn't really give you much idea. But. Pardon me, $5.99. But it's written, again, they're going for the celebrity. They've got Paul Razor, who was in Aliens, you know, as the, um, one of the corporate, corporate guys. I'm just gonna pause it for a second. So back again, just had to, I always get really, I always get the sniffles when I'm on camera for some reason. I don't know if it's a nervous reaction, just kind of centralise myself. Uh, so there's another new title, Star Wars 1. Uh, <coughs> Surprise, this takes so long to come out. Django Fett, number one. Don't know if it's an ongoing, or if it's going to be four issues, or if it's one shot. They don't say, but it's $5.99. Ethan Sachs' writer, Luke Cross, who's normally an okay artist, is doing the art, but the cover artist, and there's loads of covers, there's apparently Lionel Francis Hugh, but the ones I can see aren't Lionel Francis Hugh. Um, 
but yeah that's it for Marvel so I shall now just pause the camera and then we'll look at DC okay cool yeah I'm just trying to relate to a different demographic just trying to be um, a bit more hip a bit more hey kids but no stop okay so I'm just gonna pause it and then we'll look at DC hey so we're back um, so DC for March 2024 first comic DC has got me quite excited sorry Marvel but they have and first issue Suicide Squad Dream Team so Amanda Waller's back but this is quite an interesting one um, so it's got some of the usual cast of characters but it's also got people like Bizarro but Dreamer as well as the leader of the Suicide Squad uh, arts by Eddie Barrows who's a really good artist it's written by Okay, come on. Yeah. So it's three dollars ninety nine, ongoing, good normal standard price point. Good on your Marvel uh, DC, uh, or four dollars ninety nine if you want the cars. That they've got some very nice variant covers, but. I, I tend to stick to the standard price ones. So, yeah, um, so Dreamer's in charge. I don't understand what they've done. They've left off the writer, but the writer is uh, Dreamer herself, um, the actress who plays Dreamer, Nicole Mal Mains, is it? Uh, she's writing it. So that'd be quite, that's pretty cool how she's kind of like really embraced the character of Dreamer. And she's, she did, she started doing it before the Marvel did it with her Marvel Girl. Uh, with yeah, Marvel girl. Um, yeah, Marvel. Yeah, Marvel, look, shut up. <laughs> okay. Um, look, excuse me. I'll just have an argument with myself. Um, so yeah, Man Amanda Waller um, leading. So this all spins out to Titus Beast, Beast World. Um, so it says when Amanda Waller makes her move to seize ultimate power in the DC universe, nothing will stand in her way, not even the future. Spinning out of the events as Titus Beast World comes the story of Dreamer the precog dreamwalker who has run afoul of the most power-hungry villain in DCU universe history with a super-powered hero who can stop see the future on her side is Waller's Suicide Squad finally unstoppable join Harley Quinn Bizarro yeah gotta have Harley Quinn in it Clock King I like Clock King Black Alice and Deadeye I'm not is Deadeye like the latest iteration of um, Deadshot uh, let me know because I must have been out of the loop when he came in but yeah, I'm looking quite forward to that. That could be quite a fun read. And this has me excited. I think that covers by Mike Allred, which is a clue to what it's going to be. So it's by the same creative team who did Superman Space Age. Mike Allred, Mark Russell writing. 48 pages, $5.99. I think it's going to be like a prestige. Um, so yeah, good price point. And it says, meet Bruce Wayne, Goth Gotham's favourite delinquent son in an origin story like no other. Witness the boy become a dark knight shaped by a city in turmoil as it marches towards its prophesied doom. Set against the backdrop of actual historical events, Gotham comes alive, filled with iconic characters who've loved and hated Batman over the years like you've never seen them before. So yeah, it's going to have a similar feel to the treatment of what they did with Superman Space Age. So I'm all for that. That should be interesting. <coughs> Pardon me. And then... But you see what I mean about the um, price points? F these are far more realistic. You, you're paying for what you get. Um, whereas these marvels, you're not paying for what you get. You're paying for more than what you should be paying. Um, so I just want to... There's... Oh yeah, one, there's a going to be a big anniversary if it issue of Batman Superman World's Finest, 25, number 25. Um, oh, artworks by Steve Pugh, very good right, artist, did the Flintstones with Mark Russell. So it looks like um, Dan Morris just having a break from this issue. Um, give you one of the covers. So yeah, um, if you like me and you're enjoying World's Finest, so there's a bit of a chunky of a com issue coming up. 
Four dollars and ninety nine, but there's going to be forty pages. So that means with DC, unlike Marvel, there'll be about thirty pages, thirty two pages of story. Um, so yeah, that'd be a special anniversary we want to look out for. Uh, let's have a look. Pardon me. This is an interesting one. Just show you this. It looks like it's a ooh, looks like it's a European one. There's another cover. I do like this cover. And this is Batman, Dylan Dog. I've not read any Dylan Dog in absolutely years. Really long time. Must be 20 years. But it was a European comic. But this, I'm, I hope it's not a typo because if it's not, this is fantastic value. It's $4.99, unless you've got the concert, which is $5.99. But it's 88 pages. Marvel, 88 pages, $4.99. 88 pages. Four dollars ninety nine. That is amazing. It's by um, written by Roberto Recchini. So it looks like it's European um, tell focused on Dylan Dog, dog meeting um, Batman. Art by Gigi, Gigi Cavanaggio and Werva Della Dero, who did something is killing children, I think. Um, three issue series, but eighty eight pages. Four dollars ninety nine. I think I'll get this. It's cheap. <laughs> That's not really said to buy, but it is a added bonus. Um, so it says, see how the fates of Batman and Dylan Dog inter intertwined in the past through their lethal nemesis, 